how long should I try to focus? Well, the research literature point to the key importance of so-called ultradian cycles. You've all probably heard of circadian cycle is about 24 hour cycle. Well, our brain and body operate or within each and every day with 90 minute ultradian cycles. So my suggestion would be anytime you're going to sit down and try and focus, you're going to try and do a focused bout of physical exercise or skill learning or musical learning, or maybe you're even just having a conversation. Maybe you're a therapist or you're attending therapy or a class. How long should it be? And the ideal duration is about 90 minutes, not exactly 90 minutes, but we can reliably say 90 minutes or less. Okay, it doesn't have to be the full 90 minutes, but trying to push yourself to be able to drop into two hours of focus or three hours of focus while possible is not really in line with what we know about the underlying biology. Everything from our sleep states or the different stages of sleep and our waking state is divided into these 90 minute cycles or so-called ultradian cycles. So what I like to do is set a timer for 90 minutes. I acknowledge and accept the fact that under most conditions, unless I'm really pressed for a deadline, and I'm optimally caffeinated, et cetera, the first five to 10 minutes of that 90 minutes are a transition time. It's like the warm up for focus, but I do include it in that 90 minutes. And then I really try and drop into doing focused mental work or learning of some sort. Again, this could be physical as well, motor skill learning, or I think we're running or lifting weights, et cetera, and really try and drop into that across the full 90 minutes. Again, accepting the fact, okay? It's not just an idea, the fact that occasionally our focus will flicker. It will jump out of focus. And then a big part of being able to focus is to go back to focusing. The way I'd like you to conceptualize this perhaps is that arrowhead suddenly getting very, very broad, that you're focusing on many things or that arrow shifts to a different location in the room. The key is to be able to shift it back and to narrow it once again. And that's an active process, so much so that it requires a lot of metabolic energy.